Good morning and welcome to another edition of Volusia County Issues. Uh, my name is Crazy Eddie, Eddie Colosimo. With me, my guests this morning are Margie Padgett, founder of Volusia, Volusia, Tax, Ca Reform. Volusia Tax Reform, <laughs> <laughs> and Maureen France, co-founder of Volusia Tax Reform, and also candidate for District 28 House Representatives. That's right. Welcome to, to our show this morning. Thank you. I appreciate yep. both you ladies coming and spending here, spending the time to talk to me. Glad you gave us some coffee. Got the coffee. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the issues we've got to uh, talk about this morning are, are, are many, as a matter of fact, and some of them, uh, first of all, is, is the tax issue. Uh, recently, there was an article in the uh, News Journal talking about the wonderful job that our city or county manager, Mr. Deneen, is doing in cutting price, cutting money, or cutting expenses. Uh, however, our taxes are still going up. Now, can we explain go that, figure. ladies? Go figure. Uh, can we explain that? Somebody give me yeah. some ideas. Well, values go down, taxes go up. Okay. And so right now what we're seeing is it's called the rollback rate, which is the roll forward rate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how we do it here. That's how we do it. <laughs> and what happens when assessed values go down, um, the same amount of money that it takes for government to run on the prior year's budget increases the millage rate. And especially for the homestead property owners, they have, you know, they were protected during the boom years because of Save Our Homes were capped right. their tax assessed values at 3%. But when values decline, then they have um, the recapture rule, which then the homeowners, the homestead of property owners, their assessed values increase. And so if their assessed values increase and the millage rate increases, that's a double whammy. That's a double whammy. Yeah. And that's why the value that's why the um, taxes are going up, especially now for the homestead property owners. A lot of them can't understand that either, you know, I mean at a time when our economy is at its worst in all of our lifetimes, you know, they're questioning how can this be happening? And it's adding insult to injury because people are already, you know, stressed with, with right. you know, losing revenue from interest rates. You know, their their investments they're, are not paying off. I mean, we're talking and retired people now, but yeah, but but folks that are employed or maybe unemployed, unfortunately, um, it's it's just it's it's a perfect storm for you know us to keep spiraling down. We we need to get this reversed. Right, and you know, Volusia County is the number one highest tax rate in the state of Florida right now. Yeah. That's say, that. say that right there. We, we are number one in the state of Florida for the highest millage rate. That is a place we do not want to be no. number one at. No. We're about what we call 25 mils average here in Volusia County. So if you own a $100,000 home, you're paying about $2,500 a year in property taxes. Mm -hmm. Now you compare that to Seminole County, right. which is about 15, 16 mils. So you're paying $1,600 a year in property taxes. For every $100,000. For every $100,000. And when you have a business, when you own a business with property, and you're talking $5 million, $10 million, that's adding up. And that's one reason why businesses do not come here right. is because the millage rate is so high. It's almost double, you know, that of our surrounding counties. And we can't compete with that. I mean, at a time when business owners who might relocate to our state or to our area, the, one of the first things they're going to look at is tax rates. I mean, we have great quality of life. We've got the bankings of, you know, wonderful uh, assets that we can offer in economic development, but how can we compete when our taxes are nearly double? That's I mean. right. All right. Explain. We all hear millage rate, millage rate. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that don't really understand what is millage rate. Explain the millage rate. The millage rate is the rate that the cities and county and school board and our what 47 separate taxing districts here in Volusia County levy. Which is another problem. Now, I, the way I always explain it is, um, if you're a realtor and you have a real estate, you charge a real estate commission. Right. Um, the average real estate commission is about six percent of the sale price. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar home and the realtor charges six percent, they'll make about six thousand dollars for the sale of that house. Now, during the boom years, when those homes increased, 
they would sell the exact same house <coughs> probably the next year for two hundred thousand dollars, but they would get double the money because their millage rate, their 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 um, commission rate stayed the same, but they got double the money the value because yeah. the values increased. Okay. Well, that's what happened during the boom years with our governments is they kept the millage rate the same, but because values doubled and tripled and quadrupled, they the money doubled and tripled and quadrupled. They had our windfalls. Government. They had windfalls. They had huge okay. windfalls rather than lowering taxes at yeah. those times. That would have been the time to do it. Now they're now they're you know really trying to figure out how they're going to maintain. That's right. And you know they're they're talking about increasing those rates. But getting back a minute to the real estate commission, in order for that realtor to get the exact same amount of, amount of money they got when that house sold for a hundred thousand, they would have to cut their commission rate to three percent when it sold for two hundred. But that's what our cities and counties did not do. They didn't uh -huh. cut their rate. And that's the millage rate. The you know the budget is what the budget is. It really doesn't depend upon what the assessed value is of the mm -hmm. property because the budgets of our cities and counties is what determines the millage rate. Now you hear that a lot of our cities and counties are cutting have been cutting back on their their expenses, but yeah, it, they're not. The millage rates mm -hmm. keep increasing, and the and, spending you know, keeps increasing. Just just as an easy way to think about it, basically one mill is about a hundred dollars. So okay. you know, so when you're when you hear what millage rate it is, you know that doesn't compute with a lot of people, but that's right. what it boils down. That, to. That's what's confusing about. Right. So one mill is basically a hundred dollars per thousand dollars. A value? No, it's, it's a hundred dollars. It's a flat. Oh, that's what you pay. That's what the oh. ultimate result is. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. that's the ex the amount you would end up paying. All right. Yep. I just want to make sure that that was understood because I know yep. a lot of people don't quite and understand the way that mills works. Twenty-five mills is twenty-five. Hundred dollars for a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar piece of property. Mm -hmm. You have a two hundred thousand dollar piece of property. You're paying almost five thousand dollars right. in taxes. Right. Now I know you ladies are basically the closest I can get to experts on <laughs> on the taxes. We didn't want to be. No. We didn't want to be. But they, you know, thank God you are because you know we need somebody out there that really cares, and we don't have enough people. You know, I, I go out there and I talk to people day in and day out, and they'll sit and they'll complain and mm -hmm. they'll complain. And first thing I say to him, can I see your voter registration card? <laughs> oh, I don't vote. Yeah. Then shut up. I don't want to hear what you exactly. have to say. Exactly. If you don't vote, yeah. to me, you don't have a right to complain. And, and That's you right. know, it really shouldn't end there, Eddie. I mean, you know, and I've said this before. I mean, if, if you've ever been to um, Arlington National Cemetery, excuse me, you'll, you'll see the sacrifice people have made. They gave their very lives, and we can't give an hour a year to go to a budget hearing. What is wrong right. yeah. with hey, our And budget? our government's for the people, by the people, and of the people. And in order for our government to be effective, we need you, the people, of and by. to be involved. <laughs> right. And that's not the, just for. that's the <laughs> equation that's been missing, yes. is we, the people, have not been Awakened, we have not been watching and are holding them accountable. And holding them accountable. Well, that was the second point I was going to make. When I say these these people are sitting and complaining and complaining, what have you done? Right. What? Ha when did you get off that bar stool? When did you leave the barbecue and do something? That's yeah. And, and that, that, uh, our government only works if the if the people are involved. That's no right. Question. And and that's why our government's run amok. It's our fault why we are at where yes. we're at today. Yes. It's our fault because of our apathy. Yes. But you know some of the people are waking waking up. Yeah. But you know more people need to wake up and get out get off the sofas. Yes. And I guarantee you that if you start watching or attending any of these city or council meetings. They're better than any comedy show you will ever <laughs> see on TV. It's, a, it's cheap entertainment. entertainment. Well, it's, no, wait yes. a minute. It's expensive. It's entertainment. expensive entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> it is for, in our in our pocketbooks. Yes, but but you know, talking about the property taxes and stuff like that, and the cities and counties saying that they're reducing the budget. Um, I believe our county manager has said they're trying to reduce the budget by what five million dollars this mm -hmm. year. Which, you know, $5 million of the general budget is $594 million. That's just the general fund. That's just the, their entire budget mm -hmm. from last year, because that's the only thing that we, we can um, Go see on, right yes. now. Go on right now. Their entire budget it's last year was $692 million. Now, and they're only reducing it by $5 million? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I what is wrong? Businesses, 
citizens have had to cut back more than that percentage. Um, you know, I know people that lo have lost their jobs. They have gone to three-day work weeks. Lost they their are homes. Lost their homes. They're now having to contribute. They've lost their pensions. Yep. They've lost everything. And for our citizens having to sacrifice the way that they've been doing, but yet government is still basically doing status quo is totally unacceptable no, to Absolutely. Me. I, I have been around for a few more years than either one of you ladies, and I'll tell you what, I have never, ever seen this country or been more afraid for this country than I am today. I agree with you. This this is the most, the worst I have ever seen. Now, in the uh, late 50s, early 60s, the jobs were tough. It was hard to find a job any place, and I lived up in Pennsylvania at the time. But today, I mean, I, I know more people that are unemployed yes. than I know that are employed. Yeah, it, oh, it's affected every family in some way. There's no question about it. And when you look, I love Ed Connor's um, way of, of judging how the economy's doing around yes. here. When he brought the phone book from five or six, whatever, years ago to the county council, and it was this thick, and now it's this thick. And yeah. it, we, you know, we look at the, the, the facts are we've lost, I don't know how many thousands, three or 4,000, maybe 5,000 businesses. People businesses are, that's, that's right. that employed people. Yeah. We should be, that should be getting our attention. Yeah. It, sh it should be. And wh where's the outcry from the citizens? But mm -hmm. what we've seen yeah. is people are voting with their feet. Yes, they're you know, leaving. We, we formed Volusia tax reform five years ago. Actually, it was five believe. years ago, July 26th. That's right. We just, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, July to have our we anniversary started, coming We up. started with 25 people in my house, and within six weeks, we had over 10,000 signatures on a petition, and over 600 people attended the first county council meeting, and we forced them to go to the rollback right that year, which was unprecedented. Our elected officials, you would think that it was a criminal offense to go to the rollback right back then. Oh, yeah. But now, you know, what they're doing, they are going to the rollback rates, which mm -hmm. was unheard of back right. then. So right. we have made a huge impact. Yes. That yes. year alone, we saved the taxpayers of our county over $34 million. And But there's ways they can reduce their spending. You know, when I was running for the at-large seat of the, for the county council which last year. Which you beat year, me at. Which <laughs> I beat you. <laughs> yes, I do. I like to see how these strange bedfellows <laughs> come together. Yes, yes, I did beat you, Eddie. But anyway, um, you know, there for example, there's ways that they still haven't looked at at the county level to reduce their spending. For example, their health insurance. There, our last figures indicate that the county pays about between seven and eight hundred dollars a month right. per employee for the health insurance. Mm -hmm. Now you compare that to, to the, my private company, right, yeah. right, or to the city of Ormond Beach, mm -hmm. which our last figure on that was they pay three hundred and eighty-five dollars a month. Right. But the average city in our county pays around around five hundred dollars a month per mm -hmm. employee. There's a way that you can save, you know, about ten million dollars. Right. Just in that. Right. And not only that, if you privatize um, perhaps the road and bridge department, if you privatize some areas, imagine just the insurance the county pays on the equipment mm -hmm. that department owns let, is in the tens of millions of dollars. Let mm -hmm. me, I, I want to use an example that I've used before, so you probably, other people heard this before. There is 